Question number 6 is related to current electricity and it goes as follows. When 5 volt PD is applied across a wire, so this is our specimen wire and 5 volt PD is applied across this. The length is 0.1 meter. Drift speed has been given. That's 2.5 into 10 raised to the power minus 4 meter per second. And electron density, which we commonly denote by small n, that's 8 into 10 raised to the power 28. And based on this, we need to calculate the resistivity of the material. First of all, we can see V comes out to be I times R. And the current can always be related in this way, NEVD times A, where A is the cross-sectional area, rest all the symbols have the usual meaning. R is rho resistivity L by A. The area had not been given, but that gets cancelled out. And now plugging all those values, you would land up to option number 2. So the correct option for this question is option number 2. Now, let's move for question number 7. Question number 7 is from magnetism, where force due to magnetism has been taken into account. These are two long current carrying wire, I each. So, half part outside, half part inside, same for the case P. And the situation is in equilibrium. And both the wires carry current I each. So if they are in equilibrium, there must be a repulsive force. And if the forces are repulsive, the direction of current has to be opposite. And on the basis of this, lambda is the mass per unit length of these two wires. We got to calculate the value of I. So if I take this distance to be R, where R can be easily put to be 2L sine theta, this would be T, this would be Mg, or better if I consider for a unit length, so that would be lambda times G, and this is the magnetic force of repulsion, of course, per unit length, so let me denote it by Fm prime, representing magnetic force of repulsion per unit length. Since it is in equilibrium, if this is theta, this angle can be written to be theta. So I'll be having T cos theta is lambda times G and T sine theta is magnetic force per unit length which is mu naught I1 I2 that would be I square by 2 pi R is the separation that's 2L sine theta. Now based on this and this you can just divide it and you'll get the value of the required parameter, the value of current, and that comes out to be option number 4. Now, we'll move to question number 8.